there's something terrifying in the tree right there. How you guys doing? It's Ken. Happy Monday. Yesterday I was going to be a Disney day and it was a Disney day. So I took a bunch of video footage as I mentioned earlier in the week that we were going to go out to Disney and do some video stuff out there but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I took a bunch of footage of here and there and everywhere in between but nothing really cohesive just kind of random things so it could or could not end up in a video I'm not sure but anyway we did one last lap at Epcot Food and Wine Festival awesome awesome night much like this wherever wherever you are I hope it's as gorgeous as it is right now we have a sunset in the background it's breezy cool breezy night but Enough of Epcot and cool breezy nights. Let me guys show you something fun that's lurking in my tree right here. I've had a lot of fun this season playing with different techniques of, of fleshing out skulls. I bought this skull uh, very cheaply at a Dollar Tree. Um, hang on a second. That's better. I had something stuck in my teeth. And, you know, they're plastic skulls, they were a buck each, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to make them kind of creepy looking. So check out the, uh, I did a fun fleshing technique with cotton and glue and plastic. And then I made my homemade teeth right there. And, uh, yeah, check him out. He's kind of cool looking. Smaller than the average bear, but nonetheless, a fun, creepy skull. There's so many wonderful people out there on YouTube who do tutorials and do how-to videos, so I'm not going to climb aboard that bandwagon and do that. As much as I'd like to, I just enjoy doing it and showing you guys the results of what it looks like. If you watched my video on Halloween night, I was out here and showed a bunch of stuff that I made um, here in my garage. In like a second, I'd love to share with you how to, but there's so many guys out there much more talented than I am with their video equipment and their editing ways so check those guys out um one of them is a guy called monster tutorials and he has a great youtube channel that's where i learned a lot of the stuff that i've made the last few skulls of mine the witch that i had out here for halloween and uh so he's an awesome 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 very very talented guy with a, a great channel with all kinds of fun things to uh explore if you're into making homemade diy um, haunts for your yard so i like the way all the little veins and what's fun about certain techniques like this is that you can't really have any you can't really plan it you can you can plan the process but sometimes happy accidents take hold and you get textures and things that you can't really plan for you just know that if you do the process correctly the I'm not sure what happened there but yeah, if you're into that creepy fleshy scully Halloween kind of fun stuff like I am. You know what I'll do? I'll put them in the. What if I put them in the, uh, in the mailbox right here? Check it out. Imagine the surprise of the mail carrier coming in here to open up our mailbox to deliver mail and discovering that guy in there. You know he kind of looks like an ape. I think he kind of kind of looks like an, an ape. Maybe because of the teeth or the fangs are throwing me off looks kind of primal 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 primate ish not sure anyway one last look I have a few more ideas we want Halloween post Halloween shopping at a few places big lots and Michael's and got some there goes my glasses again hold on I'm loving this weather absolutely beautiful gorgeous fall night is it fall yet I'm not quite sure but anyway we did some post Halloween shopping and bought a bunch of stuff very very cheaply like I said now it's gonna make it all fun and creepy and ghost like my goal for my birthday in July is to have a Halloween party I always I was gonna hope, hope I was hoping to have one this year but it just never panned out just too many things too many irons in the fire as I say but I'm gonna pause here because I feel myself starting to yap and ramble on and that makes for a very boring video and I don't want to bore you guys I want to thank you guys for watching tuning in all that fun stuff and I wish you guys well. Oh, did you guys see the color change? Just then, as the sun dipped below the horizon line? That was cool. It went from bright orange to bluish. So, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.